finished seventh at the recent European Championships. This championship's held in Serbia, in Novi Sad. Gold won by Belarus's Vanessa Kaladzinskaya. The uh, Polish athlete looking to improve on a 12th place finish in Budapest in 2016 at the Worlds. And the disappointment of not qualifying for the Olympics. Our best showing our World Championships was 10th. That was back in 2015. She'll have her work cut out for her here today against Castillo Hidalgo she comes into this competition with a silver medal from the Pan American Championships and an eighth place finish at the Olympic Games in Rio she finished top out of her Olympic qualification tournament and won a bronze here in Paris at the Grand Prix. Her best performance at a World Championships was 10th in 2015, having finished 14th in 2014. So looking for further improvement, although It'll be interested to see if she is penalized. You can see the clock kick ticking up. And that's the referee giving a warning for inactivity when a wrestler isn't engaging in the fight. And you can see uh, Castillo didn't convince him that anything had changed. And so it's a penalty point going to her opponent. So Zasina with a slender advantage. After two minutes, so much at stake. Really taking their time to try and get it right. But Castillo again. Getting worn there, I think. Well, he's trying to make his point here. But Castillo doesn't want to see the fight. Scudding away from her. She was warm before for the hand on the neck of the Zasina. Well, you can see the referee asking for a little bit of action. just having a word with the side referee. So Castillo with another warning there and she just gifted away the points. Zasina not having to work too hard, but in a strong position is our coach, Marianne Filipovic. There's a word in her ear, as does Jose Manuel Restrepo with his charge. Hidalgo. So the second round underway and Hildalgo has given herself a massive uphill struggle. We're yet to see a score actually earned as opposed to penalty, being penalized.
Castillo at 26 years old. Would have been confident coming in with that silver medal from the Pan American Games, but to be fair, Zacina has really managed this fight brilliantly. And on that occasion, she waited for Castillo to make a mistake. And she is ruthlessly taking advantage, spinning around and pinning her opponent to the mat, trying to shift her. But she'll be happy enough with a five point advantage, just under two minutes remaining. Well, Castillo. I think we'll be hugely frustrated post-fight if she can't turn this around. She really gave herself an uphill struggle. But it's been professional from Zassina. She's done exactly what she needed to do to go through the 29-year-old vastly experienced and using every ounce of that. Well, another warning for Castillo. It's a really disappointing showing from the Colombian. And she's just gifted points away all through the fight. Zacina, having only managed a two-point score, has a seven-point lead. That tells you everything you need to know. And in discipline has cost Castillo well, she shot for two there. But Zacina saw it coming. Feels she's just about got the pin. Trying to sweep that arm. But either way, she's got her where she wants her. Oh, the referee. Once they haven't managed to spin their opponent, brings them back to their feet, keep keeping the fight active. One of the uh, things the referees are looking out for. And that is that, well, Castillo did not do herself justice. And it's Zacina who kept things tight. And just with a two-point score, has gone through 7-0, two yellows against the name of Castillo, indicative of...